in your daily speaking you use a very common phrase i don't know but using it all the times you might feel is really very boring so in this lesson i am going to talk about 12 such exciting phrases that you could use in your daily speaking in place of i don't know hi guys i am here with you rajiv bhaskar and you're watching me on rajiv talks so let's begin so let's see the first phrase which you could use in place of i don't know is i have no idea so if someone comes up to you and ask you something but you don't know anything about it you could say i have no idea i have no idea it's a very simple and polite way to say i don't know for example if your friend ask you do you know if they are going for the movie but you have no information about them so the best answer you could give to him is i have no idea i haven't talked to them the next phrase is i have no clue this is also a very good way to say i don't know suppose someone ask you do you know who has closed the door but in fact you don't have any information who has closed the door then you could simply say i have no clue i have no clue means you don't know anything about it and you have no information about it now let's see the next one sorry i can't help you there suppose someone ask you to solve a puzzle but you really don't have any idea about solving the puzzle so despite simply saying i don't know you could politely say sorry i couldn't help you there i couldn't help you there in such situation you could also say i am not really sure and you could also try this phrase when you don't have any proper solution or answer to something or you think your idea might be wrong so in such cases definitely you sound great if you use this phrase in a speaking like a fluent speaker now let's see the next phrase i have been wondering the same thing too when you visit any place with your friend and you are surprised looking at something amazing and you can't even imagine how is it done and your friend asks you how is it possible then you could say i have been wondering the same thing too this exciting phrase you could try to express your surprise instead of just saying the same thing i don't know now the next one is that's a good question so i'll try to find out during any conversation when someone normally asks you something and you think that the question is really important but at that very moment you really don't know what to say then this is the perfect way for you to say i don't know so you could say yeah that's a good question so i'll try to find out that means you really don't know the answer but you are equally curious to know about it now let's go to the next phrase i don't have the faintest idea suppose someone ask you why didn't your friends come to the party yesterday you might say i don't have the faintest idea this means you don't know and you also don't really care about it the word faint means something is difficult to see here it means your ideas about the friends are very faint you don't see them you have no idea about it in this situation you could also say i have on the foggiest idea but this phrase is a little bit sell the home style you need to say it with a silly little tone in your voice because it doesn't feel exactly serious it feels a little bit funny now let's see the next phrase which is quite different from the other phrases that i discussed till now how should i know how should i know you could also use this expression instead of just saying i don't know but you need to be a little bit careful while using this expression suppose you don't have a good relation with someone and your friend ask you something about him so you might feel quite disturbed so you could say how should i know means you feel quite disturbed and you just want to ignore it 
but keep in mind this is a little defensive so make sure that you use it in the right situation now the next phrase is it's beyond me it's beyond me suppose you are very good at english but you don't like the mathematics at all now if someone suddenly asks you a tough mathematical question that's in fact definitely you feel like a hard nut to crack then in such awkward situation you could simply say it's beyond me it means you feel like it is unexpected something and you don't have any idea about it like this there is one more exciting phrase that is it's a mystery to me it's a mystery to me suppose you know rima is not a good student but recently she has passed a tough exam now if someone comes up to you and ask you how did she pass the exam then you could say really it's a mystery to me means you are really surprised and you don't know how exactly it is possible so in such situation you could say it's a mystery to me it's really a great phrase you could use it in your speaking now the last phrase but definitely not the least i am not the best person to answer that i am not the best person to answer that in some situation when you see you are being asked a question but you think you are not really fit to answer that then instead of just saying i don't know you could simply say unfortunately i am not the best person to answer that here indirectly you said okay this question is not fit for me so it would be better if you find someone else to help you answer that question so guys that's for you today but i am excited to know what is your favorite phrase among these 12 so let me know in the comment section below and if you like this lesson please don't forget to like comment and share this video with your friends i'll come back with more such interesting lessons till then take care bye bye